from my super is, fight. Um, I started off with Her. wrestling, then got involved with judo, jiu-jitsu, sambo, kickboxing, and all this other stuff and all that. Been fighting for well, about over 18, 18, 19 years now. A Stefano song, what you can look forward to is, hey, a guy who can come out with a lot of power, good speed, and if hey, you think a big guy like me that can't move, baby, check me out when I get in the ring. Joe, you have quite a bit of weight on him. Uh, what is your strategy for this evening? Uh, he's he's pretty lean. He's very uh, wiry and very conditioned. Uh, do you think uh, what what is your strategy? Oh, well, basically, I'm gonna find how um, where his his good strength is at, and then I'm gonna try to take him in the opposite area. You know, you know, if he's good standing up, then I'm gonna try to take him to the ground. If he's good on the ground, then I'm gonna go back to standing up to see how which one of my powers he can deal with the most. But hey, one, one way or another, we're gonna fill each other out and get it on there. As a UFC champion and world champion in judo, you seem to have very well-rounded skills. And from what I understand, you have been known to knock your opponent out in 14 seconds and in some fights less. Uh, what is your signature move, and, and what do you think uh, is your key move? I think um, my, my punching. Everybody's known for me. I'm a big knock a person out with my punches. But then again, I have some good legs, too. And you got to see how those legs work, though. When I got there and um, make one of my moves, now it's like a little axe kick come down. Bye, y'all. Getting some vintage Joe Charles right there. And very multi-talented guy. Darren, he can also, besides strike, you've noticed right here, he can throw a submission hold on you. Well, this guy can do it all. He's, uh, he's fought more times than probably anybody. This guy will fight every single day if you give him a chance. And uh, he's, a, he's a terrific athlete. He's a black belt in judo. Uh, he's a very decent striker. And uh, I have a lot of respect for Joe Charles. You know, a lot of folks say he always looks soft, you know, a little bit soft around the middle. But don't let that fool you, right? Yeah, I, I find that the best body doesn't always make the best fighter. And he certainly doesn't have the best body. I'll do respect, Joe. <laughs> He didn't hear you, thank goodness. He's looking straight ahead. Now, Stephanos, he's got the best body. There's Joe Charles. He's an American. He has been to battle so many times. He's fought the best of the best. And he's going to get into a, a fight, a very I good train fighter. very, for like I swim uh, a lot. I, I run a lot. I wrestle a lot. I do a lot of kickboxing as well as submission wrestling. So and weight training but everything is nothing nothing uh, magical everything simple hard and uh, try to improve every day try to become a little better try to find some kind of motivation that will take me to a higher level stefano trying to get motivation to get to the higher level and that higher level right now will be the Stairs up to the ring to meet a very tough cookie in Joe Charles. Tell me about Stefano. Stefanos is a, a great fighter. He's uh, not really proven himself in the ring, but he's proven himself against all the great fighters in the world in their gyms. Uh, he's been trained with, trained by Hicks and Gracie. Uh, Rob Kamen, one of the top kickboxers in the world. This guy is tremendous. He's a very intense individual. I'm a little bit concerned, though. I, I found out just uh, about an hour ago that Stefanos has not been able to train for this fight. He actually suffered a back injury about a month and a half ago. And being the warrior that he is, still is getting in the ring and fighting. And I, I give him all the credit for the world and the world for that. That's an incredible thing. Yeah, I did know about the back injury. I did not know, though, he wasn't able to train as diligently as he does. Now, look at that body for a guy that hasn't been training. Yeah. Well, I think he's been doing some swimming, but he has not been able to grapple. Well, this is our super fight to end a phenomenal night here in Aruba. As we go to the tail of the tape here, you see it's Stefano, 220 pounds of man. He also acts a little bit. He's been in several movies, Jean-Claude Van Damme. He, if he looks familiar, he should. And there, of course, is big, bad Joe Charles. And doesn't he look relaxed? Joe is probably one of the most relaxed fighters in the world. He just gets in there. He doesn't have a problem. 30-minute time limit. And like Joe says, he's a great striker. But uh, watch his leg work. And he uses the leg work to get Stefano down on the ground. Yeah, I think Stefanos put out a very slow front kick, feeling him out. Stefanos, it shouldn't have happened. Stefanos is definitely the superior wrestler here, and that is rare that they get taken down that easily. But that was the inexperience of not fight, 
That, that's what happens. Joe Charles now trying. Stefano very slippery right now. It's very humid here in Aruba, as we pointed out earlier. And it's just tough to get a good grasp on somebody that is sweating that profusely. Notice Stefano's is swimming his arms inside trying to get that control position. Well, he looks and up he, and he, he says, here, Joe, pow! Yeah. But Joe Joe's uses his weight very well. Joe will lean against him. Going to try each guy trying to work the other guy's lower leg, and then he comes up with the knee to the midsection. Joe Charles does. Yeah, very difficult to throw knees when your back is up against the ropes. You can't generate a lot of velocity on your knees. Well, the way. business man of show business is uh, ringside now. You have been so busy, Federico Lapenda. Uh, you have put together one of the great cards of all time. We are all, the, the, by the way, very disappointed as we watch this great bout, disappointed that that, that matchup between Heath Hearing and Kakaraco, Kakareko, could not go on. What yeah, was the problem with Kakareko? Me too. Hello, Gary. Hello, Darren, our new addition to the Ultimate, to the World Valley, to the championship. And there were all kinds of problems tonight. That's what happens when you try to do eight-man tournament. With oh, right hand by Stefano. I'm sorry. No problem. But that's what happens when you try to do eight-man tournament with too many good fighters. Tonight we had Mario Sukata, Justin McCulley, Heath Hearing, Kakareko. When you put four, five, six t top guys in the eight-man tournament, injuries will happen, and oftentimes they cannot come to the end of the show. Joe Charles with the left and the right started it off with a knee to the midsection. So, uh, again, Kakareko's injury, what was Yeah, it? yeah, Kakareko apparently was feeling dizzy with low blood pressure, wanting to come in, but he could not make it. His cornerman, Hugo Duarte, could not come due to uh, Hugo's dad that has cancer and uh, wasn't feeling well, so he could not come. Are we going to see those two in the future? Absolutely. Beautiful. I, we've got to get that commitment from you. There they go down. Beautiful move by Stefanos. Now yeah. we're in the half guard. Half mount position, depending on what what your perspective is. There you go. You've taught me something new. A right hand by Stefano as he tries to work Big Joe Charles. Charles trying to roll out of trouble. Going to a leg lock, actually, to a knee bar. Didn't succeed. Stefano is a very good uh, a grappler as well as a striker. I feel a knee coming. <laughs> no, Stefano's now the full mount. Yep. This is where Stefanos is very, very, very effective. Oh, Stefanos just got reversed. Just a little mistake Stefanos made. That was a mistake on Stefanos' part. Joe trying to lock in there, but no, Stefanos slips out of it as they work against the lower rung. And the smartest thing I think Federico Lapenda did was put in that netting at the bottom of the ring several Valley Tudo championships ago to keep these fighters in the ring and keep their handlers out of the ring. Yeah, actually, we had a little problem here with the police in Aruba because the show before we were able to use the cage, but this time, due to political reasons, they wanted a ring, and uh, the only way to do to use the ring is by putting this net. Well, it works. It's worked tonight. We've had phenomenal action. Even the ladies' bout was unbelievable. Wait, yeah, we got Stefanos taking the back of Joe Charles. Okay, take it to his back. This is a take dangerous back. place. You don't take want Stefanos on your back. Right yeah, and well, well, Stefanos is forgetting to put the hook, so I think Joe... Joe's starting to show a little bit better fatigue, no, Darren? Yeah, he's, uh, uh, he doesn't look too fatigued. I think he's still pretty relaxed. Right Joe kind of crawling up the body of Stefano. And back to the guard they go. Yeah. Stefano's they go. Is very good in that guard position. He'll, he'll work his elbows real well. That elbow's he's gonna going to leave a knot. Going to leave a mark. You hear good Joe's work. corner boy good really work, working baby. their You're doing fighter. Good. You're doing good. Stefano, Stefano, excuse me with a short chopping right, another one. Stefanos is doing a very good job of relaxing, being that this is his first fight. I'm very impressed, very impressed with both fighters. You know, the man from Greece actually looks, uh, you know, for a guy that hasn't trained, he looks awfully good tonight. He's, I mean, he's, he's the he, true Greek god, this guy. <laughs> Well, he's meeting Joe. Oh, I think he looks a little fat, actually. Yeah, really. I'd like to be so fat. There's Joe Charles with a right hand, but it misses. His corner exalting him on to work the ribs, Joe. Work the ribs. And Joe's working the face right now. That's a great right hand there. Stephanos is trying to control his left arm, possibly sweep him. Yep. Oh, big right by Joe Charles. Trying to get that leg around the head to maybe get an arm bar on him. Well, he's a real tactician, isn't he? Oh, he's, he's very smooth. I have had the opportunity to work out with him. 
This is about the smoothest guy I've ever trained with. And he's trying to get that arm. Yeah, now, they move him out. Yeah, he had the arm. Off. When they moved him out, Stefanos lost his position on the arm. There's a short left. Just misses. Great head work, too, by Stefano. Yeah, Joe has his elbow too far down to the mat for in order to it's impossible for an arm bar from there. That's just a great heavy left hand right in the oh, yeah. kisser to Stefano. I think he I bet he's sitting there thinking right now, man, why am I why am I not in a movie right now? Exactly. Where we can fake this stuff because his face is starting to show the wear and tear of bit. Joe Charles. Yeah. Joe Charles has been very effective with his strikes. Tell you, when you're going for submissions, it really puts you in a vulnerable position because if you miss an arm bar. A total reversal right there, and it happened that quick. He oh, tries yeah. to lock it in. Oh, well, Stefanos is now going for that American lock. Yep. Joe Charles not letting it happen. I don't know how Joe got reversed so quickly. Stefano trying to work him. Joe trying to push him away. He's, he's doing a very good job of controlling the heavier man. That was an amazing move, just the, the speed of that move and that reversal. He's trying to get that, he's working it in. He's getting pretty damn close to getting an arm lock there. And Joe noticeably tiring. Yeah, Joe is definitely getting worn down here. That's kind of an MO with Joe, isn't it? In many cases, I have seen him come out like a ball on fire, and then if he didn't get his man in the first three or four or five minutes, he tended to get in trouble, and that looks what's, that's what looked it's, uh, like it's happening right now. I think that's the, the disadvantage of having all that excess body weight. It's maybe advantageous for the first couple of minutes, but later on that stuff is just going to wear you down. Joe tried to back heel there and uh, almost connects. It rolls off the side of Stefano's head. He's very crafty. Uh, Joe Charles can pull things out of his bag of tricks. I I've seen him do many impressive things. I never discount this guy. Corner telling him to relax. Boy, he almost takes a big shot in the face, but it misses. As they roll around. Now he's trying to lock in an arm bar. Trying to lock in the arm bar. Stefano is. Joe Charles, though, won't let that happen, and he punches him in the face. Just like I was talking and about. And a headbutt. Like I mentioned earlier, when you go for those arm bars, you definitely make yourself vulnerable to lose your position. He was in a superior position, and that's the kind of fighter Stefano is. He's not afraid to go for those moves. He saw that arm, and he was going to go for it. Beautiful reversal by Stefanos. And they change again, and Stefano trying to throw a right hand that is stopped by Joe Charles. Yeah, Joe just looks exhausted at yeah, this point. And he just caught one right in the face. Beautiful strike with a right hand. Another beautiful strike. Joe trying to cover up, and he's wincing in pain. Oh, he's going for that arm lock again. There it is. Oh, That's there's no way. It. That's, That's gonna it. do That's it. That's it. Man, it almost looks too easy. He locked in the arm lock, the American arm lock, and bingo, it's over. Joe Charles exhausted, but look at this. Yeah. Beautiful. That's about as clean a one as I've ever seen. Look at the torque he gets on that. He could just totally dislocate the shoulder with that, baby. And another look at it from another angle, but it's all the same result. Stefano, a tactician, does a beautiful job. They hug, and Joe Charles, again, a great, great competitor. We'll come up a loser this time in the super fight, but what a night of championship action here in Aruba. Frederico Lepin has done it again. You said that about four times, and you could say it 20 times, and you'd be right every single no, I, time. It never ceases to amaze me, the shows this man puts together. One more look, and uh, again, this is just out of the book. Every promoter in the world has tried to get Stefanos Milsitakis to fight. He wouldn't fight for anybody. Stefanos had some... Uh, Frederico had some way of getting him. I don't know what it was, but uh, I don't know if it was a charm, money, something. I wouldn't be surprised if he shows up in uh, one of Federico's movies, I'll be honest with you. We'll have to see. But I'll tell you what, if, it, if anybody can get him, Federico Lapenda can, and he got Stefan on. So what a great, great fight. And you see the end of it again. Both men tired, but Joe Charles just simply ran out of gas. That happens. All right, this has been an amazing night here in Aruba, Havana Beach Club. And in the middle of the ring, there is Federico Lapenda and also Ari Poles, our host, the owner of the Havana Beach Club, 
presenting the champion's belt. I tell you what, Ari Poles and his partner Ron Nequist, they put on a show for us. The Caribbean Town Hotel, it's been an awesome place to stay. I'll tell you what, you've taken advantage of room service. I see a tray out in front of your room every day. Not to mention a big uh, gut. That's right. <laughs> well, Ari and Ron, we thank you very much for your hospitality. I'll tell you what, you guys own this island. Even if you don't own it, you own it. Yeah, thank you, gentlemen. Way, You're tremendous hosts. You know, Ari, you don't look that good in a Speedo. You look a lot better in a tuxedo, brother. But we thank you so very much. And Federico La Penda, again, our thanks. Uh, he's waving at us right now as we look at the final of this. I want to thank my partner here, Darren Harvey. Darren, thank you very much, and I will see you in our next championship. And, and thank you, Gary. And you're going to have to fight, too. We're going to get you in the ring, huh? Oh, no, not after watching this. you got to do it. All right, I'll do it. Obviously, you gave up an incredible amount of weight, somewhere around 60, 70 pounds. Your passion for conditioning really has been a factor in this fight. And you uh, submitted Joe Charles of the United States, an outstanding show. What are your feelings on the fight? And did you ever feel like you were truly in trouble by Joe Charles? No, I 